just had a uh, slight technical difficulty. My microphone died, so hopefully you're still able to hear me pretty well. Counting those eyelids again. This, uh, this is a nice gray, just right there in the middle. put this on it's, it's really dark right there so I'm spreading it around soaking it up on paper towels it's the only way you can control it So I'm going to let this dry, and you know, when I come back to it, probably going to go over it with black. Actually look pretty nice. I've uh, I usually find that the second drawing is easier I've kind of gotten all the jitters out with that first drawing. Let's go smoothly with the second one. indications of the stitching. Spaces in between spaces, negative shapes. It can help you to keep that in mind.
being pretty general. Working from the general to the specific. Remember me saying that. Keeping my board up still. Also remember when we did contour drawing. Really trying to make that hand eye coordination, make that hand eye connection happen. Indication of that tag, I didn't do that earlier. This area, where it's extremely dark, it's easy. It's easy to get lost. I understand that. Leave that alone for the bean. Let's go back to our other drawing. round brushes. I'm going to put the uh, flat brush down. And let's see what we do. Let's move this out of the way. brushes sometimes is that the bristles separate and they create marks that you might not want. So just be aware of that.
this. That's why these brushes are so cheap. Good ones. Good ones shouldn't do that. I think I've had some that, that have. But, uh, <clears throat> Get more advanced. I want to experiment with some of the more pricey materials. Wet up here and getting some of that bleeding, that wet into wet effect. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we let's get under the soil here. Darker areas of what I'm looking at. Places. It uh, be as dark as I'm making it. And after this, we had to go in with the lighter value. words here. I'm just looking at all these shapes and spaces. Trying to make sense of uh, you try and make it legible and uh, drive yourself nuts. Uh, it isn't quite the point in the end.
location in my ribbon on this solenoid. Darks here. You can see where some mid range values can come into play. Highlights for something like this can be close to impossible. You have to uh, dance around everything. I think I'm almost done with this. Right value there. It's not too bad actually. So, um, there's a few more things I could do to it, but uh, I think I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. Um, I'm going to finish that other ink drawing on my own. Um, because this is basically the gist of it, okay? And I don't want to spend a lot of time making a three-hour demo video, okay? This is basically what we're going to be doing on Thursday, okay? So, before you come to class, okay, uh, try and find those extra materials that you'll need. Bring your ink, obviously, and uh, come prepared, ready to draw, okay? Ready to... Ready to paint. <laughs> We're going to be, um, this is as close to painting as we'll get in this class, okay? Um, these cups, I have a um, spare amount of these cups in my car, so you don't have to worry about that, okay? Just uh, the paper, the brushes, the ink, and uh, I'll take care of the rest, okay? Good luck to everybody, and um, hope you're doing good on that. Uh, uh, Draper drawing. I didn't forget about uh, making a post about George Bridgman. I'm going to do that soon. Okay. And uh, hopefully that will help you. Um, all right. See you guys Thursday.